Hundreds of protesters have taken part in a demonstration against the presence of foreign troops in Niger, including those from the United States, which has a military base in the north of the country. At the call of civil society organizations, close to Niger's military authorities, whose members took part in the demonstration, the demonstrators gathered in the center of the capital Niamey. In mid-March, the West African country, which was the scene of a coup d'etat in July, declared that the 2012 cooperation agreement had been unilaterally imposed by the United States. The crowd in front of the headquarters of the National Assembly in Niamey was made up of students and a number of prominent figures from the military regime. The crowd could be heard chanting down the American imperialism and the national liberalization is coming. According to U.S. officials, Niger's ruling party council, known as the CNSP, has not yet ordered the ritual of American troops. But the arrival of Russian troops makes it more difficult for U.S. forces, along with diplomatic and civilian personnel, to remain in the country. It also cuts doubt on the future of joint Niger-U.S. counterinsurgency operations. Washington considered Niger a key partner, an ally in a region that has been wracked by coups in recent years, investing millions of dollars in an airbase in the desert area that has served as a heart of an American counterinsurgency, operations in Africa's sub-Saharan region known as the Sahel. The United States also invested heavily in training Niger's armed forces to beat back insurgencies by militants linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group that have ravaged the country and its neighbors. Some of those early U.S. trained troops helped stage a coup that overthrew the elected president. Since then, relations between Niger's new leader and Washington have soared. 